Okay, let's finish up on these two problems. Hopefully you did these on their own. So they bisect each other. So to solve for x, I'm going to set the two angles equal to each other because their measurements are going to be equal. Um, I'm going to... Oh, well, that's 3x. Sorry, not 13x. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides and I get 1x equals 6. So now they actually want me to find a to b to c. So I'm going to plug it into one of those. So I'm going to do 4 times 6, which is 24. That means that this angle is 24, which also means that this angle would be 24 since that bisects it, so they'd be equal. So the measurement of angle A, B, C equals 48 degrees. Similar process over here, 5x minus 11 equals 4x plus 1. I'm going to subtract 4x and I get 1x. I'm going to add 11 and I get x equals 12. So then I'm going to plug it into one of the two. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to go ahead and do it to this one. So I'm going to do 4 times 12 plus 1. 4 times 12 is 48 plus 1 equals 49 degrees. So this guy is 49. This guy is 49. So the measure of angle A to B to C is 98 degrees. The 49 and 49 together. Okay. All right, next page. It says plot the points on a coordinate plane and draw angle ABC. Classify the angle and get the coordinates of a point that lies in the inside. So A is here at 2, 3. B is at 3, 0. And C is at 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They want me to do angle A to B to C, so be careful. We, they want A to B to C. So they want this angle right in here. So that would be an acute angle. Uh, finding a point that lies inside of it may be hard, but it looks like this one does. That is over 1, 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 4. All right, next one. 6, 2. These go by 2. So 2, 4, 6, 2. That is A. Negative 1, negative 2, that's B. And then 2, 3, that is C. Again, I'm going A to B to C. So again, that's another acute angle. And it looks like 2, 2 is on the inside. Um, next one, these go by 2 again. So negative 4 up 3. Oh, sorry, negative 4 down 3. That's a negative 3. Uh, backwards 1 up 3. I'm struggling here. And then 4, 4. So A to B to C. Now this is an obtuse angle. And it looks like 0, 0 is inside that angle. So essentially anything in this area is inside that angle. We're going to skip doing this because it's just the same. And I think you guys have uh, can plot those points and then decide whether they're acute or obtuse. All right, last one. Let 3x plus 4 represent the measure of an obtuse angle. Remember an obtuse angle is an angle in between 90 degrees and 180. What are all the possible values of x? So we don't know if that obtuse angle is 91 degrees. We don't know if it's 179 degrees. We don't know if it's 120 degrees. We have to be able to figure out any value of x between these two numbers. So you're just going to plug it into that inequality. You're going to say 90 degrees is less than... We're going to take out x and put in the actual angle, 3x plus 24. And we're going to say it has to be less than 180 also. And then you're going to start solving this inequality. So to start solving the inequality, we want x left in the middle. So we want to get everything away from x. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 24. But instead of just doing it to the one side, I have to do it to both sides. So 90 minus 24, 90 minus 20 is 70, 70 minus 4 would be 66. We have this left in the middle because that 24 is gone. 180 minus 20 is 160, 160 minus 4 is 156. I'm going to divide by 3, but again I have to divide it in all areas. So I get x in the middle, 66 divided by 3 is 22, 156 divided by 3 3 goes into 15 five times, it goes into 6 two times. So that means that the value of x could be anywhere greater than 22, but less than 52. All right, hopefully that made sense, and I hope that you guys are doing well. 
and there will be a 1.4 assignment that goes along with this. All right, thanks guys.